Hello. Welcome to how to use a router as a network storage server. I use a solid state drive for data storage. Of course you should have a drive with a large capacity to optimize file storage. I use a TP-Link router as a network storage server. You make sure your router has a USB port. To connect a solid state drive to a router you use a SATA to USB converter cable. Before connecting the hard drive to the router you connect it to a computer. Why do you have to do this? Because before using it as a storage hard drive you should format it. You can't format it using a router. On the computer I use Disk Manager. I delete all the old partitions on the drive. On the solid state drive I create a new single partition. After completing the formatting of the solid state drive you remove it from the computer. Next you connect the hard drive to the router via USB. I usually use an adapter cable to connect the solid state drive to one of the USB ports on the router. On the computer connected to the router via cable or wirelessly, I access the management page using the default IP address. Here I use the default IP address and default login account. On the management page, you can easily find the USB port settings. The router automatically scans and detects your solid state drive. By default, the router enables passwordless file sharing. You can access shared resources without a password. I will upload a file to test the results. This is a simple, cost-effective way to build a file server yourself. Very suitable for personal needs. But the disadvantages of this method are slow speed, poor capacity expansion. To ensure data security, I recommend you create a new account to share resources. You can use the same router administrator account, but I create a new account. This is safer. After when finished creating a new account I enable file sharing using a password. To apply the changes I restart the router and restart the computer. As you can see to access the shared folder I have to use the account. This way is more secure. Also the router supports FTP service. You just need to enable the service.
You can not only access the network storage server in the internal network but also access it remotely. You just need to enable the FTP service using an external address. Here is how to turn a TP-Link router into a network storage server. You can use it in the internal network or access it remotely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck.